Okay folks, so we're back here testing drivers at the Herschel Golf Club and we've got the same Challenger, Titleist 917 D3 versus TaylorMade M2. And anyone who watches my channel, you will realise we've done a few of these videos before and we have tested these. However, I have found that the spin characteristics of the D3 model were the reason why we fell so short and couldn't challenge the M2. So I've had a few people on, a few gurus, the YouTube police have been at me and I've actually changed the shaft, I've tampered with the weights and I've essentially custom fitted myself for this driver to see if fine tuning the driver can actually take on the long of the king. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a GC2 test where we compare the two shots um, and then I'm going to take the golf two, two golf clubs out on the golf course and we're going to test them live and see if there's a difference and see if the king can be toppled by a properly custom fit club which all you guys should do. So let's take them out on the golf course and let's see who wins. Okay folks, so I'm now down at uh, the fairway and some very, very interesting results. So you'll see two golf balls right there. So this was the Titleist 917 and that was the one there. You'll see some data, 292 carry and this was 296 carry distance. So you can see they're pretty accurate data and it has done what it said on the golf course. So nothing really in that. There's not a lot there to be compared. Then if we just have a little zoom, so if we look over here, this is the TaylorMade M2, and that was at 285 carry. And then if I just do a little zoom just over here for you folks, there's actually a golf ball sitting just here. There you go. And that was, I believe, 294, something like that. The number's on your screen coming up. So it really is, you know, fine tuning, getting custom fit for these drivers, folks, makes a huge difference. Okay folks, so there we go, there is the test finished. We have seen live GC2 numbers coming up on your screen. We've been on the golf course and we have saw there's very, very little in it. We saw from the TaylorMade M2, 285 and 296, so at the shortest but the longest. We saw there, just a little bit, one of them got a bit spinny, which is possibly me that's caused that. But the big thing for me has made this fight equal is I was able to change the characteristics of this driver to get my spin level up over 2000 which is why we saw 292, 294 out of the Titleist 917 driver so it comfortably lost the last time because my spin level was way too low so really does show the importance of being custom fit there folks so please do go out and test these yourself but make sure you get custom fit one stiff versus another stiff really doesn't always matter one ten and a half might not be the same as the other ten and a half get custom fitted guys try them out see which works best for you please let me know down below and we look forward to bringing you more tests and more little things like this to help show that golf really can make a difference just little changes here and there and um, thanks for checking the video out and um, please subscribe down below and look out for more videos coming your way